Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a shake or quake effect and how you can use it as a transition as well. So I've got a sequence of clips laid out on my timeline and first in order to just create this effect on the clip, what you can do is click on the clip and then go over to the right hand side and find the directional blur effect in your effects panel. It should be under the blur and sharpen video effects folder. So if we want to just create this effect on the clip, we can click and drag it onto the clip. Then it should pop up in our effects control panel. And we're going to do a bit of work with keyframes. So let's say I wanted to make it shake or quake right here. I'll toggle this stopwatch icon on for both the blur length and the direction, which will allow me to animate the effect. Now, I'll start at zero for both by default, but I'll move over with my arrow key one frame to the right and I'll add a bit of blur and then I'll move over another frame to the right and I'll click reset back to zero. So I'm going to do that for just about three shakes. So that's two back to zero and then this is three back to zero. Notice I'm only using a strength of about 40 or 50. You can eyeball it to see what looks good for you. Additionally, I'm going to add a little bit of tilt in the direction so that by the end of it, each blur is slightly in a different direction. So let's play that back and see what that looks like. As you can see, it just adds a quick little blur or shake. But what if we wanted to use that for a transition? We can't exactly apply keyframes from one cut to the next. So what you'll do is you'll click your project media bin and then you go to file new adjustment layer and then you'll click and you'll drag an adjustment layer over the track on in between those two clips then you can just drag it down to size so I'll drag both ends in just enough for you know five frames on each side if you want you can start from the cut I can use my up and down arrows to find the cut and then go one two three on each side and in order to use the same effect as a transition, I'll drag my directional blur onto the adjustment layer, except this time I'll start at the cut. So I'm right on the cut and here's where I'll add some keyframes. So I'll toggle both of these keyframes on. I'll add a blur on the frame where it's being cut. And then I'll go one to the left. I'll make it zero. One to the left. I'll make it higher and then start at zero. And then I'll do the same thing on the right. So zero, add another shake here, and then finish off with nothing. If I want to add a bit of that randomness in the direction, uh, I'll pull this keyframe back over so it starts at zero. And by the end of it, I'll make it go negative 40 degrees or so. So we'll play that back and see what that looks like. So now you can see we've created a little bit of a shake as a transition. And if I want, I can just take this and command C and then move over to other segments and command V to paste it. Or you can hold alt and click and drag it over to make a copy. Just make sure you center it so the keyframes are aligned at the cut again. And that'll allow you to play your transition throughout multiple cuts without recreating it each time. And if you want, you can go back and adjust a few things about the direction to give it some randomness. Or you saw how you can create just the shake effect on the clip as an effect rather than a transition. So that's how to create that shake or earthquake transition effect or effect. If you guys like this tutorial, then definitely leave a like on it below. Subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my future videos. And check out the playlist on my channel for some previous tutorials and videos. You guys can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Twitter, Instagram, all that. If you want to send me links to videos for effects that you're curious about, maybe I can give you some advice. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.